What's up everybody? I'm Robert Ochoa and we're here to do another DVD review for this beautiful Halloween month. Uh, today I got an interesting movie and I think this is the first Blu-ray we're going to do. Um, we haven't done Blu-ray yet so this is pretty exciting. Uh, and it's Basket Case. Now I heard a lot of reviews and I've seen a lot of uh, uh, well I guess i see seen a lot of reviews for this movie and, and uh, I wanted to check it out. Um, it's always been known as a cult classic and and it's really 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 different than other movies um, first of all I guess the the story behind the movie is is that there's this guy who uh, wants to well hold on it's about Siamese twins and so what ends up happening is that they end up splitting them apart one is like a head with just arms growing out of the side of a dude's body and the other guy is just normal so what happens is that they separate them and they didn't want them to be together and they wanted the normal guy to have a normal life uh, but he had a strong connection with his brother so they uh, after the doctors separate them they actually find each other again and they become friends and then they go out looking for revenge they want to kill the doctors that uh, have uh, separated them so it's about the movies just about them going around you know trying to get the revenge uh... it's a really good movie because it's so weird and terrifying and, and the head the little head with arms around it is is really disturbing at times the yell he has this horrifying yell that i just oof, makes me just cringe in fear um, i think if i ever heard that i would definitely be scared um, anyways it's, it's a gory movie it's a wouldn't really consider it a splatter film there is a lot of gore in it there's definitely some weird sexual innuendos going on and even the end is kind of like disturbing um, I, I don't know exactly how he killed the girl but something tells me it was humped to death uh, but anyways uh, yeah so this is a this is a good movie for Halloween um, definitely old school has that old school uh, vibe to it I, I don't know when it was made I think it was made like in the sim oh 1981, so it's an 80s movie, but it's an early 80s movie, Still, it still kind of has that 70s vibe to it, and when you watch it, you'll know what I mean. Um, yeah, it's on Blu-ray, so I picked it up on Blu-ray. I did see it on DVD for like 5 bucks, but I thought I'd put in the 6 more dollars and get the Blu-ray one. Uh, also, we have, uh, and, and this is also kind of weird, but unique too, I have Basket Case 2 and Basket Case 3, and these are on VHS. Um, this continues the story of the two brothers, uh, but these two movies actually go together. I'm not saying this one doesn't, but this one kind of ends and almost like they were supposed to make a sequel, but uh, definitely they did with these two movies, and these two movies go back to back. In fact, um, in the beginning of the third one, it actually shows what happens at the end of the second one and um, all the characters from the second one are in this one. I won't get into these right now but uh, just to let you know I do have the whole collection but it's kinda like VHS and Blu-ray and and uh, I'm kinda worried because uh, it's very hard to find VHS players these days and, and I know that my VHS machine is getting pretty old and sometimes it sounds like it's struggling so uh, I guess I'll do these at a later time. But anyways, once again, it's a good movie. It's excellent for Halloween. It's uh, scary and creepy at some parts. I mean, I, I watched it um, even at night. I watched it at night and I kind of got the chills watching it. Uh, it's just one of those eesh kind of movies. I, not that it's like, it's just disturbing. It gives you that creepy feeling that maybe there's something always around in your room watching you. Uh, but it's good. It's bloody at parts. Not so, not too much blood, but enough blood, you know, to make it a gory horror film. But uh, there you go. So hopefully you'll come back tomorrow. I still don't know what I'm gonna pick up yet for tomorrow. Um, I gotta look at my DVD collection, put in a movie, and watch it. But uh, most definitely though, um, there will be another review up tomorrow. So thanks for watching, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, Sorry if I'm not really sounding like myself today. I'm a little bit under the weather, but hopefully I'll be feeling better tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. Leave any comments you want at the bottom, and I'll talk to you soon.